my name's Martin Archer. Uh, the group is the Engine Room Favourites. Um, I play various saxophones in the group. I, I've got a theory that the, the more people you've got, the less they have to do. And what I like in music is when relatively minimal elements interact together in a way that's less predictable than it would be if one person was do it, doing it. So if you've got four people who've got the brief to sound like one person, they'll inevitably sound like one very odd person. That's the idea, I think. And then, of course, when you want to crank it up a bit, you can do that as well. The reason that I stopped doing jazz gigs, uh, having been in Hornweb Sex Quartet for 10 years between 1984 and 94 and doing dozens of gigs all over the country, the reason we stopped doing that group in the end was that um, I could see all the places that we used to play just disappearing. Um, so in, in, so I, I was on the phone all the time chasing no gigs which is why I just decided to stop doing it, because it was a waste of time. Um, so being on a scheme like this is important because it gives us some leverage. In, uh, uh, there's no point having a group like Engine Room Favourites if it doesn't do at least some concerts, although, to be quite frank, I'm very happy to sit and make records till the cows come home. But no, this is great leverage to give us um, the kind of exposure that we wouldn't all otherwise have got. I'm always doing a lot of things. I mean, what, what I mainly do is I make records. That's what I do. I, I'm a studio musician. Uh, so at any one point in time, I'm doing three or four things, which um, uh, are likely to be pretty varied. So, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm working with a, a rock group that's based in Minnesota at the minute, and I've got my own um, improvising rock group, which is more into kind of Faust and Armandul territory, which I guess is what I like most of all about music. And I work with Julie Tippett, the singer for whom I write and produce. So Engine Room Favourites just kind of fits that jigsaw of things that I'm interested in. It's, it's one thing that I do that just completes the picture for me.
As usual, the first thing that I do with a project is record it. So we've got an album out, which um, hopefully will sell through my own company, which is the way most of that uh, stuff goes. So, all, so like all, 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 the, all the dozens of people in Germany who just bought my improv rock record will now buy this and wonder what the hell's going on. So I think, I think that's what we'll do next. Music's not communicating some kind of uh, emotion. It's uh, it, it's uh, wasting everyone's time. It's wasting the musicians' time. And it's wasting the uh, the the audience's time. So that's not to say that uh, that those emotions can't be expressed in the continuum of abstraction, which is essentially what 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 what. what uh, excites me but I hope the audience will just think that we're feeling the notes and as uh, as we all get a haircut and Western capitalism collapses around us perhaps it's time to reintroduce some blues into the mix which I think is why we're doing that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming to listen to the Edgy Room Favourites. Imagine, if you will, heavy snow falling over a slate grey sea, looming out of the mist comes the SS Black Diesel. Bearing its horrible crew, we descend down a metal staircase into the depths, a world of hissing pipes and men in filthy singlets. We have Stoker, Walt Shaw. We have... Stoker, Johnny Hunter. We 
have Stoker, Steve Dinsdale. Master Engineer, Pete Fairclough. Ship's Boy, Seth Bennett. Whoa, there's a stowaway in the piano. Miss Laura Cole. Mr. Midshipman, Corey Palamba. First Mate, Graham Clark. Up in the crow's nest, on lookout, Mick Beck. Your captain, Martin Archer, thank you for coming.